as you all know today is the first day of fall but well if you're watching this now it's probably uh, the second day of fall but anyway um, I've been watching scary movies since the first of September the first or the third of September I'm not really sure and my local FYE has been on fire with scary movie titles horror titles so has my Walmart my FYE had a bunch of Scream Factories, um, and I want to show them off to you guys, of course. The first one, I actually was looking, I didn't pre-order, and I was looking for it when it initially came out, because the new Scream Factories, uh, sometimes my FYE does get them in upon their, uh, store release, and that is the boy who cried werewolf. I thought this movie looked amazing. Um, it was made in 1973, and it was actually made by the same guy who made uh, Attack of the Giant Woman, or Attack of the 40-Foot Woman, or whatever, and I'm a sucker for these kind of movies, um, just because it just looked super cheesy and sort of poorly made, but at the same time, like, I, The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, like, that's just, I don't know how to really explain it, but this, like, macabre, crazy type of stuff is just right up my alley, and... You know, the trailer kind of... I watched it. I didn't see this. This was a blind buy. And the trailer kind of had me. And I still haven't watched it yet. But, like, I love the cover. And I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I actually did pick up another Scream Factory. Ghoulies 1 and 2. That 2-pack. Fuck those movies. Those movies sucked. They were terrible. And I actually took them back to my FYE. And the girl there was like, you know once it's opened it was sealed it was new and once it's open we're not really allowed to take them back but you are a customer who is in here all the time spends a lot of money and time here and so she let me trade in uh that movie and she gave me twenty dollars store credit so i got twenty dollars worth of shit yesterday but then uh, for my birthday i got this friggin classic right here the class of 1984, written by the legendary Tom Holland. No, not the new Spider-Man, that guy who actually wrote and directed Fright Night. It's my favorite horror movie of all time. And this is a bit of an exploitation, rape, revenge piece movie. Not necessarily a horror, but this is more like true horror that could actually happen. And I just, I love this freaking movie so much. I love Tom Holland. This movie is really kind of, it was uh, prophetic. I mean, it, it really kind of predicted, uh, it was made in 82, 85, something like that. And it was made in, yeah, it was, oh, I'm trying to see here, guys. Uh, 1982, this was made in. And uh, it actually kind of predicted the way that things would eventually become with, schools with the metal detectors and the kids just com disrespecting adults coming completely out of hand weapons in schools shootings everything like that um i know when this movie was made that was not a thing at all in high schools and like i said this movie was pretty prophetic and it's just <laughs> the ending is is really it's a brutal movie but the ending is really kind of hilarious the little caption at the end i don't want to spoil anything but if you guys haven't seen this man check it out this is a, definitely a cult classic i'm so glad it got a screen factory the screen factory treatment and then of course last but certainly not least this sucker came in the mail today i actually thought it was coming next week but it came today, and I was super excited. My girlfriend and I just watched it, and she didn't like it, but that's too goddamn bad. And it also came with an awesome fucking poster. That's right. And on that note, guys, I got a couple more videos coming. At the end of the month, I'm going to do a video of my entire haul from this month, and then I got three more Scream Factories coming in soon, so... That'll be in October sometime, and then, I don't know, look at this friggin' view right here. This is awesome. It's epic. Alright, guys, on that note, happy fall, happy Halloween. Screen Factory, you guys are friggin' killing it right now. Thanks for watching.